All right. All done. Dave's the best. Sure he is. Whoops. Let's take this somewhere private. Somewhere where it's nice and stealable. Like right in here. Behind this wall. Wink. Probably could convince one of them to um, try and run for president. Hi Screw there, up honey. Dave's rule. Have you spoken to Dave? I have, I heard Rosie. That Dave allowed you to stay. Well, welcome, stranger. Just be mindful of the children. What's up, Moira? Clone number? I don't know. I'd like to know more about the Republic. Sure, honey. But don't make it too long, or Dave will start wondering why we're talking. Yeah. So, uh, you're Dave's first wife, right? He has two? Well, yes. Dave and I were married when he was wandering the wasteland, before inheriting the Republic from his father, Tom. I see. After Ralph was born, Dave said that the President of the Republic needed to repopulate the wasteland. So, now we have a second wife. <sighs> yeah. Tell me more about this Dave guy. Dave is a good man. Sure. He looks after all the children and makes sure they have plenty to do. He's bought a lot of toys, not that he'd admit it. Mm -hmm. He has our Shauna teach classes to the younger ones. She's over at the Museum of Dave to the west of the Republic. What can you tell me about yourself? Not much to say, really. I'm Dave's wife, or first wife, I guess. I've lived here for mm, many years now. Hmm. What's your take on the Republic? We have plenty of food and water here, and the compound is fairly safe. I'm glad the children can be raised here, away from the wasteland. I'd like to see more trading done with the local caravans, but Dave's afraid their outside influence could weaken the Republic. Sure. That's all I need to know. Sure, honey. I'd like to discuss the election with you. Election time is always exciting around here. It seems kind of dull to me, but, um, have you considered running for the presidency? Believe it or not, I used to lead a group bigger than this one on an old caravan route. I did it for years, and we did pretty well for ourselves. But what am I talking about? Running against Dave would be like betraying him. Sounds like a good idea. You could lead the Republic into a new era. The democracy of Rosie. You're right. Dave's just been pushing me around. It's time for a change. Yeah, that's right. Take a stand. You should go vote if you haven't already. You're right. I'll go right now. See you later, Rosie. You win that election. Fingers oh, it's a crossed. ballot box, huh? Requires a key. Hmm. Interesting. Man. The Brahmin smell awful today. So do you. Maybe you're a Brahmin. You. Now where the hell is Bob? Bob! I saw you earlier. Ooh, hi. I will take that. What do we have going over here? Random tin can, empty whiskey bottle. This is just for target practice. Nothing I'm interested in. Bob. Hey, Bob. Come on, make it fast. I got chores. Do ya? I'd like to discuss the Republic. Shauna runs the museum, not me. What the hell do you want? Dave has two wives? Yes, he does. And they're both pains in my ass. Are they? Always got to keep them in line or else they get all teary. Well, you're probably not going to vote. Tell me more about this Dave guy. Dave made me second commander of the army of Dave. And that means I get a gun. Don't make me have to use it. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, Bob, I'd like to know more about you. All you need to know is that I'm second in command next to Dave. So don't bother me. And don't talk to Rosie or Jessica either. Those are Dave's wives, and they have work they need to do. Mm-hmm. What's your take on the Republic? Dave is in charge. 
When he's not around, I'm in charge. If you want anything else, go to the Museum of Dave on the left side of the compound. That's all I need to know. Oh, great. Yeah, I'd like to discuss the election with you. Oh, yeah? What about it? You know, Rosie is running for president now. So I've heard. She couldn't possibly think that she'd be better than Dave. Hmm. I'd like to throw my hat into the ring and run for it. Did you ask Dave if that's okay? Yeah, he was a douchebag about it. Have you considered running for presidency? Man, I'd love to be the president. Would you? Everybody would have to listen to me or I could just exile them to the wasteland. <laughs> and the first thing I'd do is make myself the permanent leader so they couldn't vote me out in some other election. Wow. But there's no need for me to run. One year, Dave is just going to make me the leader, just like my grandpa Tom did for him. I see. Um. Hmm. Ah. Uh, Let's try it. Dave is corrupt. The Republic needs a new champion of freedom. Yeah, I'll show him. When I'm in charge, everyone will have to say I'm as good as Dave. Better even. Yeah. You should go vote if you haven't already. Fine. I'll get out of the way. I'm surprised that actually worked. I thought I was gonna get a fail there. I've heard of you. You're one of the good guys. Damn right. I'm gonna stir up some trouble here. Make sure this uh, Republic of Dave is kind of not Republic of Dave anymore. Hmm. Probably shouldn't go in there. Yeah. Okay. Shouldn't go in there either. Go to the museum of Dave. So, I'll just get started on the tour of the museum then. Now there's also a bobblehead in here, but we're not going to grab it. Our great leader slept in as a newborn baby. Unlike most babies, he never cried, and his poop didn't stink. Sure. Dave had eight siblings and made his own baseball team. The team was so good, in fact, the Wasteland team was so scared it never showed up to compete. The briefcase is the very one Dave took with him when he became fed up with the poor ways that his father ran the nation. Dave brought back many items from the wasteland. It was artifacts like these that amassed the Republic's great wealth. Dave collects many war collectibles, including holotapes Hello. and war weaponry. This globe <laughs> represents the whole planet that Dave traversed. They but don't care. Don't let it size for like you. in the stories about the Dave. world is at least 50 times bigger than this. I don't know who put that tire there. These weapons <laughs> were used against the USA before the bonds fell. Dave probably acquired these when he walked to China. <laughs> Dave is a world-renowned marksman, known for shooting an apple out of the hand of a raider from across the Potomac. Sure. Delta to my left is the very head of the slain death claw that Dave encountered during his quest through the wastes. I don't I don't I see it. I know what you're thinking. And no, that's not a Brahmin skull. Brahmin have two heads, so there'd have to be <laughs> two skulls for it to be Brahmin. Please, no touching. And that's the tour. I hope you enjoyed it. Welcome to the Museum of Dave. Yo. So, Dave gave you the okay, huh? Well, yep. welcome then. I run the Museum of Dave, where the children of the Republic can learn about their heritage. I'd like to know more about the Republic. Sure. The Museum of Dave is happy to answer any questions on behalf of the Republic of Dave's Office of Tourism. <laughs> Dave has uh, two wives? Dave revised the restrictive marriage laws of the Kingdom of Tom shortly after the Republic was formed. Multiple marriages is now considered one of the great free freedoms of the Republic of Dave. So he became a Mormon. Okay. Tell me more about this Dave guy. President Dave is the savior of the wasteland, bringing mm -hmm. peace and order to the savages man has brought upon himself. My ass. If you would like to learn more, please stop by the Museum of Dave's official tour at 2 p.m. 2 p.m., huh? Tell me about yourself. Me? I just run the museum and teach classes to the little ones. You know, truth, justice, and the will of Dave. <laughs> What's uh, your take on the Republic? 
The Republic of Dave offers a rich history rivaling that of the great nations before the war. Uh-huh. My ass. That's all I needed to know. How very Dave-like. Okay. I'd like to, uh, discuss the election with you. Me? I'm not sure if I can help you. Have you heard that both Bob and Rosie are in the running? Wow. This is the first time we've had so many choices. I'd like to throw my hat in. Um, did Dave say you could do that? Mm, no. Have you considered running? Absolutely not. In fact, I'd vote for Dave twice if I could. Really? I think I get the idea. Anything else? You should probably go vote if you haven't already. Oh no. Dave sent you to tell me that, didn't he? I'll go right away, I promise. You sure will. And while you're away... Other things will be away. Doo -dee -doo -dee -doo. Nah. <laughs> Death Claw Skull. That's hilarious. Alright. What else is in here? Um, nothing of interest. And we're leaving the bobblehead, as I said. You're almost as What's up, as Rachel? Are you really from the wasteland? Wow! Yep. Hello. What's up, Mary? President Daddy says the people from outside the Republic are bad. Uh-huh. What's up, Ralph? Are you really from the wasteland? Whoa! Sure. Sure am. Hey there. Are you going to play Republic with us? Yeah, I am playing Republic right now. I'm playing the entire Republic against itself. We'll see what happens. Maybe if I'm good enough at playing the Republic against itself, I'll take over. Probably not. I don't want to take over this place. This place is nasty. There's like boys pooing out in the Dave, open. Mister? I have heard about Dave. I've heard about Dave way too much for my taste. Oh, Dave, lead our Republic to glory. Oh, God. The name is everywhere and it won't stop. Man, the Brahmin smell awful today. Yes. Alright. So I'm guessing Dave is the only one who would have the key. Keep your hands to yourself. Ah, uh, I'm, I'm not doing anything. Do -de do 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 do. Not doing a thing. I'm innocent. Not here. Do -de do do do. Doll. All right. Am I hidden? Nope, not hidden. How about now? I'm hidden. All right. Let's see here. Save one last time. And this time, let's do something sneaky. Hi, Dave. Ah, uh, I'm gonna take that. And I don't want to lose any uh, more karma. So let's go. Let's force the wrong vote. What? Isn't isn't Dave's special key correct? You don't have anything. Nothing. Damn it. I pickpocket the wrong key. I don't want this key. I thought I was getting the correct key. I lose karma over a key that I didn't want. Don't even think about it. Oops, got detected. Did not mean to get detected. Ah. What do we got in here? Old painless. Hmm. Sounds interesting. What is old painless? 
Old Painless seems to be a hunting rifle. Yep, can't repair that. But let's see here. 21 damage as compared to 21 damage at full. Wow. That thing is going to be awesome when it's repaired. Hey, Shauna. Did you do the early voting? I can't believe it's only a couple days away. Nothing. Nothing. Front gate key. Don't care. Front gate key. Front gate key. Nothing. Hmm. So who the hell has the key to that? I mean, I guess it was worth it to get old painless, but... flower has it. She just keeps standing out here. Nope. Alright. We'll see if it's worth it going in here. Alright. Carefully, uh... Check the area for keys. Nothing. Lots and lots of nothing. Hmm. I do not see any keys here. How about here? Nope. Well, how am I supposed to jury rig this <sighs> election if there's not going to be anything that I can do to open that box. Maybe Dave will let me uh, assist in the... Uh oh Someone's detected me. I am detected by someone. Nope, still detected. There we go. Damn it. Who is it? You? Who are you? Flower. Oh, well, she's finally leaving the front gate. Alright. We got going in here. Let's see here. What do we have? Nope. Hmm. So far, a lot of nothing. Nope. I have no idea where this key could be. Whatever. Old Painless was worth it. Hey. Let's Hi. go talk to Dave. Out with it, Ambassador. This Republic isn't going to run itself. That's true. Um, let's see here like to discuss the election. The election is still going on. What do you want to know? Looks like you might have an opponent in the race, Mr. President. An opponent? Seriously? But... But... Wait. No, this is a free republic. <laughs> Let the people make their choice. I am confident that they will recognize me as their true and proper leader. Remind me, uh, how can I help the election, Mr. President? I told you before. I'll spare a few caps if you just tell each of the adults to get over to the voting booth sometime today. There's Jessica, Rosie, Bob, and Shauna. I already voted. I think I told them all to do it. Um, and you already voted. I guess I just gotta talk to them all and... Very well. Make sure they've all voted already. 